My version of the truth. There have been many stories about The Simpsons. I'm sitting in my office one day, and Jonathan Dolgen, who was um, in charge of a lot of things for Fo at Fox and ran television for me, came in and said, Jim Brooks wants to do a show about The Simpsons. And I said to Jonathan, let me understand this. We have a show that can't get a rating called The Tracy Ullman Show. Wonderful show we can't get a rating. It's going to be going off the air. And Jim wants to take that one minute. Is it a minute or is it less, John? And he wants to make this into a series. And you're sitting here in front of me and telling me you think this is a good idea? He said, yeah. Jim thinks it'll be a big hit. I said, well, John, I think we should call Barry Diller. And if I'm available, I'll go with you to talk to Barry. Because if it's a television series for his network, you should talk to him. Went in to see Barry. Barry said, very interesting, we'll get back to you. Told Jim, very interesting, we'll get back to him. Finally, to make a long story short, we want to keep Jim happy. Do anything to keep Jim happy, but nobody believes in the Simpsons. Finally, Jim has his agent, Jeff Berg, call. He's exclusive to you, but you can't keep him from creating. If you're not going to do this, I'm going to take it somewhere else. A pilot is made. Um, what's happening? Stall, stall, stall. Let's order 12 more episodes. I don't keep them busy. And Jim says, I don't care about ordering episodes. When is it going on the air? Where is it going on the air? And so because of Jim's stature, our belief in Jim, it goes on the air. Did anybody say from Barry on down, this is the greatest ideas we've ever heard, Jim. Thank you for bringing it in. This is great. Were he not Jim Brooks, it never would have happened. And if it wasn't for Jim Brooks being the way Jim is, I remember one meeting about the Tracy Ullman show where they were complaining about the budget, and Jim came across the table at one of the accountants and said, that's right, there's no price you can put on creativity. Jim's passion for The Simpsons forced Fox to do it. And lo and behold, it became, how many years later is it? 18, 16, the longest running scripted television show, I think. Maybe Gunsmoke was longer. Certainly the longest running comedy. Comedy, the most successful financial show in the history of television, by far, and still the highest rated show on the Fox Network. But it's only due to one guy. I wish I could say I saw immediately what he had in mind. I don't think anybody saw immediately what he had in mind. There hadn't been a successful uh, animated show since the Flintstones. When was that? You know, but it was his passion that made it happen. And then he insisted on this boutique uh, firm doing it, and they didn't. They said we have to do more than six a year. Well, yes, if it's a series. Oh, you mean the animation company? Yes. He said no. They have to do it. And so, so John Dogen had to find a way to get them geared up. See, a series is not just six shows, because we'd have to repeat each one seven times. We can't do that. So, but it was him. That's what it was. I remember the Stanford a student council, uh, the students ran uh, uh, Simpsons for president. I mean, it was, it was a phenomenon.